Speaking of uh, comedy, let's uh, continue our chat about Manchester United, uh, who host Manchester City um, this Sunday. Um, I mentioned earlier on about the fact that, you know, City, obviously the big dogs in town, the big dogs in Europe, let's, let's, let's be honest here. Mm. Do you ever see a time where Manchester City will be the... The, the, cause I think we both agree that Man United is still a bigger club. They're a big, they're, they're they're a bigger club. That's not a debate. What could be a debate is: Do we think that we can see in our lifetime a time when Manchester City become the bigger club? No. First of all, they're about thirty-five trophies off Man United and Liverpool. Um, fan base wise, Man United is probably joint with Liverpool. Maybe Man United a little bit bigger as their biggest club in the world. Mm. Um, well, you know, English team base wise, mm-hmm, anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, so I am seeing more and more city shirts popping up, and I live in London. You yeah, know, so you you see yeah. them glory hunters. But <laughs> soon as soon as City fall off the boil, as soon as Pep goes and the the city start falling off the boil, you will see them glory hunters disappear. <laughs> um, but no, I, I, and I'm not being disrespectful. I, I do not think that City will top Man United. I don't think they'll top Liverpool. I think there's too much history with those two clubs that I've mentioned. Um, going back from 70s to 80s to 90s, I do not think that Man City will be getting to those those heights. I I, I can't see them being dominant for another 15 years. OK, so here's one. Then. Let's say the next 10 years, City win three more Champions Leagues no. and five more Prems. Well, Liverpool have won six Champions Leagues. So there's still two of them. Um, they, they just look. Yes, it would be great achievements if they can get there, but they'll just. I don't know why we've been talking about <laughs> Manchester City being a bigger team than Man United. No, it's no, just no, not, not now. But, bigger, but do we think it could happen in our lifetime? Not in my lifetime. Because of the foundation, the heritage, foundation, the history, the heritage, yeah, and, and the amount of trophies that they would have to win leagues to top. That's thirty something, well, forty something years mm. of. Every you know, winning the league every, every or a trophy every single year for forty years to top Man United without them winning nothing. It's it's just not going to happen for starters. And like I said, the history of of both clubs that I mentioned are a lot bigger than Manchester City. I agree. I I think City are the. Biggest but that's no disrespect to Man City. That's you know, no, 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 just, I, we just. I happen to agree. I I think I think it's it's quite clear who the bigger club is in terms of on the field. Um, output at the moment there's, 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 that's not a debate but I think that you can't ignore the 25 years of dominance that United have had in the Premier League and you know in, in, in the, they were never dominant in Europe but they were one of the dominant teams in Europe for for, for, for a while um, and I think as you mentioned you throw in things like fan base you throw in things like revenue you, you throw in things like um, just just general history as well and City have got history as well let's, let's not let's not uh, disrespect their history either but I think that 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 will take longer than the the remaining thirty forty years. I hope I have left on this earth to to over overturn. Plus, you're assuming that just because City win more trophies, but Man United, United are not going to win, win exactly. Or Liverpool so, are not going to win exactly. So, so um, no, I think that's fair. Um, let's talk about something a bit more immediate. Uh, reports coming out that um, David de Gea may be re- returning to Manchester United. Now, these are these have been written by some credible journalists that are, that have well sourced. Um, reports that it's a possibility. First of all, do you think it's a good idea? And my second question to you as an ex-player is, if you were him, how much does pride play a role in your decision? Uh, well, look, it's, it's again, it's, it's not a, it's, a, it's Manchester United. Everybody, every player would like to or love to join Manchester United. The reason he left because of the contract the wages are, I, I am assuming that wasn't uh, to the liking of himself or and the club wasn't prepared to go any higher so that's why he left but so if there's a deal there that he's happy with then there'll be no reason why he wouldn't but if it was to happen then it just makes Manchester United looking like a circus like that is quite embarrassing and does that then mean that Ten Hag who has no to, power well we're led to believe that he was the one that blocked the contract offer for De Gea said no 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 uh, don't, don't bother with him I want my guy in they spent 50 60 million on Anana his guy if the club are then to kind of bring back David De Gea does that then not make him look really bad and almost 
you're kind of on the on the road now to to you're, you're on a thin rope in terms of your your tenure and your your the, your the length of your stay at the club because that's the club saying you made a, you made a call we're going to have to undo that call because your your call hasn't worked out yeah that creates a little bit of tension with with him in the board because I'm guessing this deal or this transfer if it was to go ahead would be above his pay grade would be, would be without you know him really consenting it's, it's, it's some the hierarchy making the decision so that in itself is is kind of breaking a little bit the relationship between him and him, him and upstairs and not only that I think Anana as well it's gonna that's not gonna be good for your confidence mm-hmm. knowing that the, the player that they got rid of now the goalkeeper they want to bring him back what does that mean for me am I going to be number two mm-hmm. is he number what, is he number two it, it's just it doesn't really make sense. It doesn't really make sense to to, to go in and get a keeper. It, there's there's a lot of positions that really need a, a addressing. I know the game is on a free, so it's easy to do that. But you know, it, it's a, it's a it's a decision that uh, raised eyebrows, and it's making Manchester United look a little bit embarrassing. And what does that do? Do you think to Anana? If they if this is to happen, and this is speculation at the moment, what do you think that does to Anana? Does he think well? What's, what's going on here? Of course you've, you, you've brought me in to replace this guy and now I've had a few bad games. You've brought the guy back in. Does that mean that you well, don't trust me? You don't well, have faith in me? Of course they don't trust me because the reason why they're looking at someone else is because the, the one that I've got current is not up to standard. That's what they're basically saying. Mm. Otherwise, we wouldn't be looking at another goalkeeper. Mm. So they're obviously saying, look, we're not happy with your performances. We're looking at the our, our old option, what we had before. So now an arm is thinking, well, Am I getting booted down to number number two? Mm. It's 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 not a good look. It's it's really not a good look. And and how if, if these are just rumours for it to materialise? I'm really interested to see. I actually want it to to, to happen so because <laughs> it just will be an absolute circus. You know, you you could hear <laughs> if it happens. It's, it's, it is comical um, if that if that was to happen. Going back to the match itself, what's your score prediction? And and if you're if you're City, despite Anana finishing his last game well with, with the penalty save, are you still saying test him, get some shots off? Or, or, or is that not re- is that not really a thing? No, no, no. It's a thing. If you know a, a defender or a, a, a goalkeeper is very, very low at confidence, then my instructions were test him. Mm. Like when I was player playing and and, and the the left back wasn't on his game or I was getting a little better of him, the manager say right, get him at early doors. As soon as you get that ball, just run it to him. Um, so that's what they'll be doing. They'll be putting a lot of pressure on Anana, saying shoot on sight crosses get on underneath him get around him if you know he may drop things when your confidence is low you don't want to be tested you mm. don't want shots coming at you thick and fast and, and that's what City will be doing if this game goes badly for United and Onana this could be really bad for for them and for him as well prediction for, for the for scoreline um, look Derby days are always difficult so I'm going to it's going to be tight but it's going to be a, you know a lot of Man City ball and, and possession but it's going to be I'm going to go 2-0 I think 1-0 City. I think 1-0 City on this one. I think they'll dominate, but I don't think there'll be lots of goals in this one, actually.